Praise God, beloved. We give God the praise. We thank God for the spirit of the Lord that's ministering to you and to your family and your loved ones. We thank God for being here. Father, I'm asking your blessings upon the people of God that do view every time at this time, your spirit ministering and moving miraculously and supernaturally. So thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. We thank God for the spirit of God that rests mightily upon you. When the Bible says not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord, everything to me, I don't know about you, but I know everything is spirit. And because when God made us, he made man in his own likeness and also in his, in his image. Now, of course, the enemy knows that you don't know that we are wrestling against principalities and powers, ruling forces of darkness. The devil hates it because we understand the plan and the Bible says we're not ignorant to the devil's devices. But I was looking at the word of God, what I read to you just, just on yesterday. I'm bringing it back again today so it can be a blessing to you. And I want you to add this to your file. In the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 24, I'm going to start reading this time at verse 26. And I, I shared with you about where the winds of life, they begin to blow. We have different storms that blow in and blow out of our lives. But if we have the understanding of who he is, God is going to give us the victory in every area, no matter what storm is blowing. If you're on the right foundation, and that's a sure foundation, you find that on the word of the Lord. As I read here, it says in verse 26, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, know what he said, doeth them not, shall be likened unto a, a foolish man which built his house upon the upon the sand. Now you got to understand there's different foundations that people lay in life. Uncertainties come when you're an uncertain individual. You need to understand if you're going to build the foundation, it's got to be on a sure foundation. And he says, and the rain descended, and the floods. He said the floods came, and and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Why? because the foundation wasn't right. If you're going to be built on a solid foundation of life, if you leave Christ out, if you leave the Lord out, you really can't go very far. Because the Lord said in his word, do you know without me you can do absolutely nothing? The impossible is made possible when you find people that take on the strategies of everyday life. Believing God to do things you can't, you can't leave him out. you got to bring him in every time. I love what Proverbs says. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and the Lord will direct thy path. And he wanted to say, if you really want to know the pathways of righteousness, he said, the word of God shall be a light unto thy path and a lamp unto thy feet. God wants to govern you. He wants to guide you. He wants to instruct you. And if God can do that, great is the mystery of godliness. I want you to prepare yourself we're, we're getting ready to do some things that's going to be far more great than what we're doing now. Prepare yourself to watch us day to day. We're going to move into Periscope, and that's going to be kind of interesting. Then your phone could have an app that you can push when I come on, and you just download that app, and every time I come on live, you'll be able to see me. May God bless you today, beloved. Have a wonderful day by the Spirit of the Most High God. In Jesus' name, amen.